Behind this door right here is a bathroom that is quite small for my 6'4 self to fit in. Nevertheless, it is the bathroom at my house. I guess when you buy a house that has 13,000 square feet outdoors to grow and you don't get the world's biggest bathroom. That's a trade-off I'll make all day long, but that doesn't mean it has to look drab and boring. So in today's video, we're gonna open up this door and we're gonna spice up my tiny little bathroom with some amazing houseplants. Kevin okay, Spiritu here from Epic Gardening. Let's go inside my bathroom, see what we can do. I'll give you the quick tour. Really not much to see, to be honest with you. So behind the door here, you have the toilet. It is in this little cubby hole. It's not ideal. I basically fit right in here like a little sandwich. So I don't want to do anything on this wall for the plants because I just feel it would be way too crowded. Now over here, you've got your towel rack and then I, have, I do have a blank wall. I think we can do something here. I think we can do like maybe a ledge, maybe a propagation station, perhaps something in this little cubby right here. I don't really use that. I in fact use this little shelf here. Look, I've got my loofah from the loofah video. I've been using that. This shelf, this shower head system and the curtain, which you'll see in a second, all come from Nebbia, who are actually sponsoring the video. Really cool use case for your houseplants with this particular shower head. Anyways, up in the corner here, I'm gonna do some kind of hanging pot, another hanging pot in this corner. So just get a little like Jumanji fern vibes going on there. Here's my mirror. What's up everyone? Make sure to cultivate that like button. And then the final thing we have is just this blank wall here. I think again, some kind of propagation station, some kind of ledge with little pots. Not to, so much to do down here. It's just a little trash can, a scale. So. so that's pretty much it for the bathroom. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I think the first thing I wanna do is put up these hanging pots in the shower itself. The first thing we need to do when we are putting in our hooks is to get the right hook. So I have this one called a swag light hook kit, which basically means if I've got old walls, which I do, some house was built in 1920s, it's plastered. So I need something a little bit more specific. So what this has is a threaded rod and then it's got these little spring-loaded wings. So when you drill a hole in the ceiling and you thread the rod through and then throw the springs through, they'll flip out and catch. So it's really good if you're going into a ceiling, you don't want something crazy in there, just very cheap, it's like five or six bucks for two of these, and then you're gonna be putting plants on it. It's a great way to reinforce. So let's get these up into the ceiling. Again, the way these work is really simple, quite ingenious. You just screw your threaded rod through a decent amount, not all the way yet. And you'll put your bottom on before you put it through because it's a little bit easier to coordinate that way. And basically what's happening is if this is the wall surface, it comes through, pushes, flips back out, and then you screw it like this. You pull down and you screw it in even further to tighten it up. So in we go. Flips up, we pull down so we can adhere this nice and tight. I'll end up sealing with silicone around as well, just to prevent any moisture from going in. But just for now, for the houseplant part of this, this will be fine. There we go. New hook in the wall, seamless. So we'll hang the pots up there in a second, but I wanna put the next section together. So I have these little pretty cheap ledges, honestly, off of Amazon. And then I have an upgraded version of the propagation stations that I used a long time ago at my old house. This is a five tube. It's a little bit larger. It looks a little bit more snazzy, I would say. So I'm gonna go here and here. So I can either put plants here if I want to, or I can put like some skincare stuff or like some soaps or whatever. And then boom, I'll have a little, kind of like a mad scientist section of the bathroom. It is hard to get into plaster walls. I made a couple of mistakes here, but that's okay. We've got a nice propagation station here. I can throw some little plants here if I want to. But what's nice about having propagation in the bathroom, especially one that's this small, is the humidity is gonna be kind of high, which means that the plant leaves will actually be able to take in moisture as well. So great little tropical-esque environment. Let's put another one of these up on the towel side. All right, I think that looks pretty solid. What do you guys think? So I've mimicked it. I've got one set up here. We've got another setup right there, which I'll put some, some soaps and such on that. And then, look at that. I've added these two hangables. If I wanted to, I could tighten these strings and bring them up. But for now, I like them just like that. So they're hanging just about there. We're gonna grab some fern style plants and let them drape downwards. 
While one version of me is out hunting down some amazing houseplants, the other one is here to talk about today's sponsor, which I really love for this bathroom and also for the houseplants in this bathroom, which you'll see in a second. Today's sponsor is Nebbia, specifically the Nebbia by Moen rain shower right here. But first, let's talk about the shower curtain. Really awesome. It's made out of 41 recycled plastic bottles. So it's repurposing what would have been a waste stream. It's machine washable and the backside can easily, easily snap off so you don't like mildew it out or mold it out and have to throw it away, which wouldn't be very sustainable. Now, behind me, we have two other things from Nebbia, which I really love. The shelf is great, it's holding my loofah right now, the loofah that I grew myself, my very own bath product, but I've also got the Nebbia by Moen rain shower here. So you can see here, we have this beautiful like spa-like experience. The droplets are everywhere, super warm, super enjoyable to be in the shower, but also for my plants. What I'll do is I'll take all my plants, I'll put them down in the tub, I'll turn on the shower, which you'll see in a second, and it will just bathe them in amazing, amazing water. And then I'll bring them outdoors for a day or two in half part sun. That'll really boost their growth a little bit. Remember, a lot of these plants can take a lot more light than we give them here in our houses and then I'll put them back in the home. So let me just show you kind of how I do this. What you can see here is it throws out a beautiful array of water that comes down and I've got my little house plants. These are some propagations that I recently made just getting absolutely bathed in water. Really nice way to water a ton of house plants at once. Love it, absolutely obsessed with it and I gotta say, it is super enjoyable for me to use in the shower as well, but I'm not putting that in this video. Also, you have the wand over there that is awesome, awesome, awesome for targeted watering. We're back. I grabbed some bathroom perfect plants, as I will call them. So these three pots, which are gonna go on the ledge, I've got three different ferns. And they're gonna stay small because they're in pots that are small. What's kind of nice about these little pots here is they have this little shield so instead of throwing like gravel, which is not a good idea, you would put a little shield like that in. Really nice, just to prevent some of that spillage. So we'll pop just a little bit of soil in, because honestly these are small enough that they probably will just fit right in. Not a lot of growing for these guys in their future, unfortunately. All right, first in is this button style fern. Just massage it out. All right. Instead of like shoving it down there, I like to just kind of tap it. Let it naturally settle itself. Boom, we have one done. Ferns are great for the bathroom. I know most of you know this already, but ferns are great for the bathroom because they want to exist. I mean, in their native environment, you're going into a forest, you're seeing them in the forest understory. There's a lot of dew. There's not a lot of light, some, but not a ton and there's a decent amount of moisture in the air. And that fits the conditions of most people's bathrooms. Certainly it fits the conditions of my bathroom. So here we have a little miniature Boston fern. We all know that these ones can get really big. I have a full care guide on Boston ferns on the channel you can check out if you want. But unfortunately this guy, his life will be spent right about this size, I would say, unless I decide to repot him at some point in the future, because this is gonna be constrained to the size of the pot. Our final fern is the Asplenium nidus or the bird's nest fern. Again, one that can get quite sizable, but will stay pretty small in this pot. Always make sure you don't bury over the top of the pot. I think it's a pretty common mistake I see people make. There we go. Should be good. Okay, our three minis are done. Now we have to do the hanging pots. So I bought some very stand, I mean, this is, couldn't get more basic, I know, <laughs> apologies. But we got some uh, golden pothos. Golden Pothos, I may take some cuttings of this because remember I need about 10 cuttings to kick off my cutting wall, my propagation stations in the bathroom as well. So if we need to trim this down a little bit, that's perfectly fine. We will do that. But these, look, this one right here. These are gonna go in our hangers because what I want is I want for it to somewhat trail down just the corners of the shower. So in there, get a nice amount of water. Again, Pothos, tropical plant, it will do fine in there. So let's just test fit this and see how it works. Nice little root system going on here. We'll loosen that up just slightly. Okay, honestly, I think this will fit in as is, which will look kind of nice. So let's put this in. Let's pull this guy on the other side. 
side here. There we go. It's a little, a little slanted because most of it's hanging down this way, but if we hang it just like this, imagine this is the corner and this is the rest of the shower. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good, okay. Let's keep on going. There we go, number two. Let's go inside and hang these up. Okay, the pothos are in and I honestly think they look awesome, so here we go. Look at that. I mean, that really does change this little tiny little shower. It's still small. <laughs> I still think that, you know, some of this stuff trailing down, it's trailing a little bit low. So I'm gonna use these as my propagations for these tubes right here. Before that, we have to put our little fern babies on our shelf. So here these guys go. Little rule of three action. One, two, and three. And that looks pretty nice. Like I said, this is coming down a little far. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some very simple cuttings here. We're gonna go right behind a growth node. You can actually see an area root that was trying to come out here. So behind a growth node, boom. I'm gonna trim off the excess here. Some of you may actually remember the first video you ever watched from Epic Gardening was actually about propagating pothos much like this. So a little bit of a throwback here. The only reason I'm doing it this way is because I really don't want this vine so low that it's blocking this little access point here. So as this grows, I've got free propagations that I can just put into my propagation station that's also in the bathroom. So pretty nice little setup. In go the first batch of our cuttings here. Look at this. Everything plays with everything else. We're growing plants in the bathroom and we're propagating the growth of those plants in the same bathroom. This one might not make it, <clears throat> let's just be honest here, but we'll see, we'll see. So we've got our golden pothos right here. And what did I put on the ledge down here? Don't let anyone tell you that skincare is not a thing for guys, because it definitely is. Take care of your skin, guys. Another batch right in there, right as you leave the shower. So this is trimmed down a little bit, looking good. And then that's trimmed down a little bit over there as well. All in all, I think we did a fantastic job at making the absolute most out of a tiny little space with some plants in the shower, some plants on the side, as well as sort of a utility slash propagation station section. I really think it livens this bathroom up. So I'm enjoying being in here when I am in here, even though it does feel a little bit cramped. It's the next morning after I set this bathroom up, I wanted that morning light to show you guys the real final product. So here we go, take a look. I personally think these changes are simple, but they made all the difference in this tiny little bathroom. So I really liked it. Yesterday I took a shower in here. It wasn't weird to have the plants in there. It actually was kind of cool, felt like I was in a little secluded jungle. So made the most of this small bathroom. Again, thanks to Nevia for sponsoring the video. Absolutely love, love, love their products and all the links to all of these as well will be in the description too. So until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.